This annual pie eating contest in La Trobe is one way the town honors its heritage. You're doing it, you're doing it. It's a race to the finish to see who can down an Eaton Park banana cream pie the fastest. That's only because a real banana split would dish out a gnarly ice cream headache. Every year, the Great American Banana Split Celebration draws visitors to Westmoreland County by the thousands. Guests of all ages eager to learn about and taste this time-honored treat that was born there. It all started in this very spot in downtown Latrobe. Now marked with a split statue and a historical marker, it used to be Tassel Pharmacy. The story goes that in 1904, a Pitt pharmacy student named David Strickler was home on break and working at the pharmacy when his customers presented him a challenge. These St. Vincent College students would come in for ice cream and to hang out. And um, one night they were saying, oh, you know, can't you make something different and, you know, something better? And so it was his creativity that um, created, you know, the concoction that is now known as the banana split. Those students would branch out after graduation and spread the word about this one of a kind treat all across America in the days before social media. Strickler would go on to buy the pharmacy and then run it until 1965. The banana split is in good company. Latrobe is also the birthplace of golf legend Arnold Palmer, America's favorite neighbor, Mr. Fred Rogers, and professional football. Well, this is the Great American Banana Split Celebration Championship belt. Andrew Lazarczyk, a Latrobe native, designs championship belts for a living. You'll see his work featured in professional wrestling and the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. But his mark on this pie eating contest at the Banana Split Celebration is perhaps his most personal project. My dad owned it until, yeah, he retired in 2000 and then it, it closed at the same time. His father is Tom Lazarczyk. He was the last owner of what was Strickler's Pharmacy, where the world famous banana split was created. It's kind of been one of those things that we always talk about and anytime we go out of town we try to tell people about La Trobe and what it's about and how much history is here. I would be remiss not to tell you there is a bit of controversy when it comes to this story. The town of Wilmington, Ohio also claims that it was the first to create the banana split. I believe it was 2013, the National Ice Cream Retailers Association, when they did this deep dive investigation into who really did it and they went and um, you know dug up all the historical facts and the timelines and we were uh, Latrobe was named the originator of the banana split and that is the year then that the historical marker was placed next to the banana split statue with the pharmacy now gone Latrobe needed a new official banana split maker who better than an iconic ice cream shop in the region Valley Dairy the first Latrobe location opened in 1938 back in the day whenever I had a bowl cut Eating a Sunday there. Business is still in the family today. Alex Blystone is fourth generation. His great grandfather founded the company. His son, Joseph Grubel, became famous around these parts, known simply as Ice Cream Joe. Alex's mother, Melissa, now owns the shop and Alex runs it. Alex shows us the traditional way of making the banana split. Take your banana and you're going to cut it lengthwise. Get the vanilla, chocolate next, your strawberry ice the cream. Split is served with three scoops of ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. It has strawberries over the strawberry scoop, chocolate syrup over the chocolate scoop, crushed pineapple topping over the vanilla, and three big swirls of whipped cream, two cherries, and an American flag. That's it, the all-American banana split. So last year, company-wide, we were just shy of 14,000 banana splits. Melissa Blystone says they serve their splits 100% true to Dr. Strickler's recipe. We had the, the exact replica of a dish that he used for the banana split, and then the hard ice cream and the banana split and the toppings the way that they were. It's the real deal. 